Okay, everybody, I'm back. I just wanted to do a follow-up on um, the previous video. And this is, again, about the Cause D10. Um, today, I opened it up, and I looked inside, and I found some features that I just wanted to point out, which um, are pretty fancy. And so I thought I'd, I'd, uh, I'd tell you guys about it. Okay, so the first thing I noticed that as we look inside here, this is the Phono Stage. Okay, it looks very well built. It's clearly a dual mono. Um, we've got mirror sides each side. So there's gotta be great, at least stereo separation. And it looks pretty legit as far as I can see. Um, I am not a, a vinyl guy, so um, I, I, I won't be able to listen to this and give you a, um, a really good feedback on it, but there's plenty of other uh, uh, people that have done that. If you look on the website of Cause Engineering, you'll see some links to um, reviews from other folks that have checked out the Phono preamp. Underneath, we got the digital section. I'm going to tell you the first, uh, the, the, the DAC. This is the DAC portion. Okay, the digital uh, input section is, well, it's down on, the, it's over here. It's actually, it's on this side. This is the streamer, okay? We can see first off, there's a shield around the AC input. Okay, so that's nice. That kills any sort of EMI that's, that, <coughs> excuse me, that might hit the um, the streamer there. So that's nice. And this is a shielded toroid inside this case here. It shows that there's two different power supplies and including two different transformers, one for the analog, one for the digital, which is nice. Um, we see a nice um, filter cap section util utilizing the Silmic um, type. Oh, wait, let's see. Or what do we have over here? Um, no, it's... Um, they're Elna's. So they're, they're high-grade Elna. Anyways, um, what was I going to show? Oh, yeah, over here. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. So this is pretty unique. This is something that you don't see, that I have not seen anywhere else, okay? And this is a testament to the build quality or, 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 or just how this company builds. Okay, so this is a shield just to keep anybody's fingers or anything from getting to that. And what it is protecting is, I'm gonna have to set this down for a second so I can do this with, with um, both my hands because I don't wanna do this one-handed. Okay, what you will see in here is it's a single DAC per channel um, within in a dual differential configuration. So what you can see is there's four outputs from each DAC. And what these guys do for the best signal to noise, fly wires, I'm trying to get out of the reflection here. They, these are, are, are uh, uh, silver plated copper Teflon insulation, um, fine little you know thin gauge wires. So instead of running like any other company is gonna run through the traces on the board from the DAC to the op amp stage. This is the analog output stage, beginning of it. These guys fly wires because they can get lower signal to noise. They can get lower noise by, by utilizing these flying wires than they can the traces, okay? And, and the fact that there's four op amps per channel means it's dual differential. So this is truly balanced. So this is pretty trick. I've never seen someone go through the pain of doing this because what they do is they'll sit there with each piece put it on a scope and they're going to move these things by hand back and forth to get the lowest possible noise best possible separation and then they're going to leave them there they're going to squirt down the epoxy on every connection and then they're going to put this this uh, cover here so that no one can mess with where these are but they go through the problem of hand tuning every single one of these with flying wires hand soldered to the leg of the of the op amp coming off the deck nobody does that i've never seen it you might see it in a, in a, in a high grade mod but that's it uh there are some pretty trick features on this piece that are um very very um nice to see um what we've got over here this is the the headphone amp okay this is the output for the headphone amp what we've got on here um but again you can see it's a highfalutin design. This is this is what hi-fi looks like inside. There's been extra care taken on both of these two fly wires. You just don't see it. There's the dual power supply, which you see this, you know, 
You don't often see this. This is a nice additional shield around the, uh, the AC inlet. So I just wanted to go through that and show you guys the inside view of this piece, which is very impressive. All WEMA caps, that's what these red things are, WEMA capacitors, high grade, made in Germany. Um, so anyways, wanted to share that with you, and I'll see you.